Welcome to a snarky snippet Newsweek edition. Is there anything more amusing than a Newsweek poll? There are a source of great mirth for this snark. When it comes to Harry and Meghan, their agenda is so obvious, and the results reported on with such reverence by apparent Sussex minion Jack Royston. Well, something has to keep Harry's spirits up after his latest failed court challenge. PR puff on sort pre-appeal, presumably. The headline stated, Prince Harry returned to royal duties, backed by almost half of U.S. Notice the apostrophe omission should have been Prince Harry's return. They don't use them in headlines. It mucks up their keyword count, apparently. What does Jack Royston, the author of the article and Newsweek editors, consider nearly half? 39%. Now, I don't know about you, but if someone offered me 39% of something when we're supposed to be going Harvey's, I'd feel a tad ripped off. No maths degree then, Jack? So facts are 39% said yes, return for royal duties, 27% said no, and 34% said they didn't care. So that adds up to 100%. Well done, Jack. I presume the 39% were happy to toss him back to the UK, seeking that wonderful time when he was UK's permanent problem. For those that care, the sample was 1,500 adults and the data was collected on February 18 and 19th. More alarmingly, though, is the quick paragraph breaking the news of Meghan Markle's alarming slump. Her popularity is falling faster than spare sales. Jack reminds us what Harry and Meghan were initially seeking by quoting Harry verbatim. Meg and I, living elsewhere part of the year, continuing in our work, retaining security. Why isn't that a surprise? Returning to Britain for charities, ceremonies, events. Harry then goes on to say with smug confidence confidence, the palace veteran said it was eminently doable. Let's translate this, shall we, from Harry speak to what he really wanted. Meg and I living next door to Oprah, being feathered and fawned over by the Hollywood A-list, retaining 24-hour security so every outing will be heralded with presidential-like fanfare, returning to the UK for the big ticket events that ooze royalty and effortlessly gain us global press attention, continually enhancing our lucrative brand and keeping us firmly connected to the royal family and our HRHs. All the perks, without any of the work. The late Queen saw through all of this. When it was warranted, our late Majesty even stripped her own son, Prince Andrew, of all his royal perks. The current King sees it too. They won't be wavering. And Prince William is there to correct any sentimental wobbles. Your brother could have been your best ally, H. What a pity you took the bald joke path and insulted his wife. It led to the consequences that are just starting to dawn on you. We will finish with a thought from Isaac Newton. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. You seem to be living the third law of motion right now, Harry. So nice try, Haz. Nice try, Jack. I did appreciate the giggle. Should I be the one to tell them, dear listeners? You can't publish these pompous poll results ad nauseum. They will never deliver the result you seek. To sum it up with a boring cliché or two, that ship has sailed. The fat lady has sung. Elvis has left the building. So maybe cease and desist and give us some much-needed respite. Until then, we can but snark. Bye.